Okay, we're here at the Tucson Book Festival, and your name is? My name is Maria Teresa Mejia. I'm a senior at Tucson High. And um, I've been a part of this movement where our books have been taken away along with our classes. And I, I wasn't in the class when they were taken away, but my friend was. And they just came into our classroom and they took the books out while the students were in there. And about a week or two later, the principal came in to our classes and said that it was wrong that he had done that, that he should have waited until there weren't kids, but he did do that. And um, so now we're not, we're not allowed to learn from the banned books and the teachers aren't allowed to provide them for us. But um, there are students who have taken the initiative and have gone to the library and they've brought a book and they'll read it. But we, are, we now have for, um, 20 minutes to talk to the class to try to keep it somewhat normal as how it used to be, even though it's really hard. And so within those 20 minutes, we thought we could teach from the books, you know, since the teachers can't. But our teacher even said that we weren't allowed to teach from the books at all because it was just forbidden and it would hurt him in his lawsuit. So we're not allowed to learn from it. And it's just really weird how censored it is in the year of 2012. So and behind us, uh, Lewis was just speaking. And did you hear any of his talk? I did. I, I heard some of his talk and um, it made me feel really good when he was saying how ridiculous it is for the books to have been banned and that it's, it's not even about him, he was saying, but it's just like the whole concept that since the books have like Mexicans in them, you know, it's bad, but I wasn't fortunate to listen to the entire thing because I was helping out here at the table that we have. And how do kids at school, or students at school, feel about uh, the whole idea of censorship now that for Mexican American Studies is forbidden? The students have been really hurt because a lot of them haven't experienced it before. So for them to have all of a sudden been censored and not been able to learn about things, it's really affected us. And a lot of students kind of have given up on school. Like they're like, well, what's the point of doing it if we found something that works for us and it's taken away? It's like they're setting us up to fail. And so it's hurt us a lot and a lot of people are mad and they just, we don't understand how you could censor education. Like what is that saying? That they don't want us to be educated? It's really something. <laughs> And for people who want to help, how can they help students at Tucson schools? Oh, there's many ways that you can help. Um, the biggest thing is to inform people, to get educated about what's happening because the media doesn't show you all the truth, so you have to really research. And there's a blog called The Three Sonorans, which has very accurate information about what's happening. Another page is a Tucson Teachers Activist Group. Um, and they've put together this website where you can download the lesson plans and you can learn it at home. And so it's just taking your education outside since we're not allowed to have it in the classroom. And you can also pledge your support and you put in your name and where you're from. And then there's a map where you can see all the different places that are supporting us. Because one of the board members had said, that them taking away the books isn't affecting anyone and that nobody cares. But when you look at that page, there's thousands of people who have pledged their support. So people do care, and we just need people to act on it, you know, because we do a lot of interviews and stuff. But then I feel that people don't help. It's like they just hear and they're like, oh my goodness, that's horrible. But you have to be a part of our movement too in order to make a difference. And uh, your name again? Maria Teresa Mejia. Any final thoughts? No, that's, that's it. Thank you. Thanks. This is Brendan Norell with Censored News.